Hello and welcome to another Sparkle 5 tutorial. In this tutorial I want to take a look at headers and footers. Headers and footers can play an important part in the structure of a website. Whilst you don't have to have them, they do form a look and a feel for a website. And you can also contain branding, colours, shapes, so that when people land on your page they know exactly where they are. Here I've set up a test website using headers and footers. You can see at the top here I've got a header. A header can be a simple photograph or a logo or anything you want, but very often they contain a logo, a photograph, some navigation tools, and you may want to replicate that right through the website. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this website, you can see I've got what essentially is another header, but we call it a footer because it lands at the base of the page. And the footer can contain information that you want repeated throughout the website as well. So here I've got terms and conditions, cookies, privacy, contact and help. And you can also include other elements in your footers and headers, things like pop-ups. So if I click on my links to other departments, I can go to these other links and go to a different part of the website. But I may want to hide that initially. So a footer can contain as much or as little information, but it gives the web user an indication that it's the last thing to look at on the page. Now let's go over to Sparkle. And we can see here, I've got all my elements laid out already. Now, rather than waste time going through laying them out, I'm just gonna go through them very quickly. Nothing has been grouped or set as a header or a footer yet. Everything is an individual item. So here we've got a company logo, a background photograph and some buttons. Underneath that, I've just laid out some text and some images, all the way down to the footer, which again is just a white box with a logo in it and some text, and some more text, which I will convert to links. Here I've got the link to open the pop-up, and the pop-up is set on the page here. It's a blank, if we, if we look at the styling of the pop-up. The fill background is transparent, so we just get the wide box behind it. And then the text I've set inside that pop-up. Let's close the pop-up. So nothing is set to do anything at the moment, but it would be very useful to create something that's repeatable throughout the website. So for example, if the design of the website required the header to be on every page, we would want to group the elements that we want to appear on every page and set that to appear on every page. And we'll set that group as the header. So I want the photograph, the buttons and the logo to be my header. So I'm simply going to group all of that by selecting them all first. And you can see here in my layers menu, I've got menu one, which are the buttons, menu two, menu three, menu four, obviously not in order for some reason. And I've got the company logo and the header background. Now you can see the importance here also of naming your elements. It really becomes a lot easier. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna group those elements. And you can see the group in the layers menu here. If I open it up, there are the elements. And I'm gonna rename that group to header. Now, nothing has changed in terms of the look and the feel of the site. And indeed, if I even preview it, nothing has changed there either. But I may want the header to stay where it is. So if we go back to Sparkle and we say custom scrolling and we'll stick to the top of the page. So now when I preview, you can see that everything else is running underneath the header and that stays where it is. So you need to design the headers to do what you want them to do. Now let's add another page or two. And we'll just add a page. We'll add two pages. And we'll go back to our home page and we'll select our header. And we'll go to the Arrange menu on the right hand side. And we will just say here, Show on all pages. And now you can see it's put it on each page. So it's a really quick and easy way to brand your website right the way through with a look and feel. And that's essentially what headers are for. They're for branding, to create some uniformity and some consistency in your website. Okay, let's go down to our footer. Now you can see here the bottom of my browser is well beyond the footer. In fact, this is just a wide box with some elements in it. They're all individual elements. I haven't grouped them or anything. But what I am going to do is I'm going to group them. 
Uh, so I'll just right click and group. That now becomes another group and we'll name that footer. Now you can see here in the layers menu that I've put the footer right underneath the header. That's because I want everything else potentially to scroll underneath it or to come up the page from behind it. In Sparkle, the last element on the page will be the bottom of the browser. So even though the bottom of the page is down here, this is the last element on the page, this group, this footer is the last element on the page. And if we preview that, as we scroll down, you can see our header is fixed. As we scroll down, the last element on the page will stick to the bottom of the browser. It won't go any further. If you want it to go further, and we'll pop back to Sparkle, you'll need to put an element here at the bottom of the page. So if I put a little bit of a box there, doesn't matter what it is, and go back to the preview, you can now see I can scroll past the footer. But the footer is there for a reason. I don't really want to scroll past it. So I'll delete that element. Now in terms of design, us designers like to be a bit OCD about how things look on the page setup. So I may want to add things into the page. And if I've got lots and lots of pages, moving these about all the time is going to be really time consuming. So I'm going to put this group at the bottom of the browser window. I'm going to go to a my arrange menu and I'm going to say move with bottom of page. So now if I move the bottom of that page, the footer comes with me. So if I expand the page, the footer will follow everything I do. So that's a really handy way of when you want to increase the page size, you don't have to worry about the footer, literally just make the page size bigger and the footer will follow you. So that's another thing. You can, if you want, have the footer on the page all the time. So if we go back to, if we select the footer and we go back to the style, we can actually do custom scrolling and we can say fix to bottom. So now when we preview that, the browser doesn't move anyway. So be careful with your design, but you can see how that would work. So we'll turn the custom scrolling off, but we will leave under the arrange menu, move with page bottom switched on. That's just a handy facility for when you're designing. Again, if we preview that, the footer disappears, but as we scroll, it will come into play and stop where it should. And you can see I've got my links to my departments on the right hand side within my pop-up. Now again, if we go back to Sparkle, we can select the group, go to the Arrange menu and show on all pages. And now if we go to our second page, we can see the footer is there and the third page, the footer is there as well. Now, for example, I may want to make the second page longer. You can see I can just drag that down and the footer has followed it. Now, if we preview that, we have a much longer scroll. You can see the bar on the right hand side scrolling and then my footer appears after a much longer page. So I'm going to select a header here and I'm going to uncheck show on all pages. I'm going to just put show on this page only. And I'm going to create a new section. So that's like creating a folder and I'm going to add a page to that section. And that section is section one as in the pages menu here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, actually, I don't want the header on that page. So I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it into the section. There it is. And I'm going to add another page to the section and another page. I'm going to select my header and I'm going to say, show on all pages in this section. So you can put a header or a different header on each page in that section and not affect anything outside the section. So that's another useful little thing to be able to do if you're using folders and sections within your Sparkle design. You can actually have separate things. You may have separate identities that you want to show. So that's it really for the Sparkle headers and footers. You don't have to use them, but they can contain really good information about your company or you to make your website brand look consistent all the way through.